celebrations today and their love and their future together as husband and wife. But these two bring with them spirit and personality, which is uniquely their own. And each of you here have contributed to that throughout their lives. Whether it be your love or your friendship, it'll forever be appreciated. And on their behalf, we ask that you please remain as important a part of their tomorrows as you are with them today. And while we're standing here on this beautiful day, let us also remember those that are not with us. Devin's dad, Andy, Morgan's grandma, Shirley, looking down upon us, celebrating with us as we witness and bless the vows that you both make to one another today. If we could bow our heads. Lord, we thank you for the greatest gift in the world, this gift of love. We thank you for the love that these two will pledge to one another as they begin this thrilling adventure of building a new life together. We ask that you be present here today, that you bless this couple, bless this place, and all those that are present. Help them draw upon the strengths of their relationship to lean on one another and build up one another. We pray that the words and the spirit of our gathering today may be filled with meaning, which will deepen in all the years ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, you both have the privilege to find a true love, a feeling that is so powerful that you have come here today to one of the most beautiful places on God's earth to add this new chapter to your love story. Today is the day you will never forget, for you are taking into care, consideration, and keeping the heart of the one person that you have chosen above all others in your life. You're adding not only the affection of another, but the companionship, blessings, and deep trust as well one to another. I love you. I love you not only for what you are, but what I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you've made of yourself, but what you're making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out, for putting your hand in my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish things that you can't help dimly see, and for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one had looked quite deep enough to find. I love you because you are helping me make of the lumber of my life, not a tablet, but a temple. And out of the works of my every day, not a reproach, but a song. I love you because you've done more than any creed could have done to make me good, and any more than any faith could have done to make me happy. You've done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You've done it by being yourself, and perhaps that is what it means to be in love. See, there's this desire within each of us. We're born worthy, never completely satisfied, nor does it ever go away. Every person here has that desire within them. It's a desire for love. Every person on earth yearns to love, to be loved, and to know love. And to experience love is to be rich in the joys that give color to each day, and significant to each detail of our lives. And to be in love with someone so wonderful is to know the true meaning of what happiness can be. And we find one of the best explanations of love in the book of Corinthians. But love, is love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, nor is it easily angered. It keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Now you both stand before us with great expectations. You stand before us with a deep commitment and high expectations for a life that will be filled with love and devotion to one another. From this day on, I ask that you come closer together than ever before and realize the love deeper than either of you could ever imagine. And as you continue this journey through life as husband and wife, stand beside one another as equals. Stand behind one another in support. But at the same time, your love should also give you the strength to stand apart and seek out your own unique destinies and make contributions to the world, which is always part of us. By working together in such a loving environment and planning for your futures, you make the dreams that you both share come true. And with those dreams are also promises. The promises that you both make today are going to take you a lifetime to fulfill. If you would, please, ask you okay. This time, Devin, as you hold each other. You now take Morgan and stand beautiful before you to be your lawful wedded wife. And do you solemnly promise before God 
and your family and friends as witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish her, forsaking all others for her alone from this day forward. Absolutely, I do. And Morgan, you now take Devin, who stand handsome and proud before you, to be your lawful wedded husband. And do you solemnly promise before God and your family and friends as witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish him, forsaking all others for him alone from this day forward? I do. Thank you. Now, with their intentions expressed before all of you, they wanted to write their own vows to one another from their own hearts and their own minds and not using the words of another. I know it has come to that time. <laughs> Describe you to me as a person who is bright eyed and genuinely excited about taking in all that life has to offer, all the while expressing kindness and love to everyone who has come, who comes into your life. I could not have said it better myself. Your willingness to open your heart to others challenges me to be, do the same and become a better person each day. And for this, I love you. I love you before the ceremony. I will love you more because of it. I promise to continue to be your best friend, your biggest supporter through the ups and downs and the good and bad. I promise to help you through times of anxiousness, like I am right now. <laughs> fear, doubt, and fear balance the way I have to this day. I promise to love you, even if the Vikings ever beat the Cowboys, <laughs> even if it's the NFC Championship. I promise to continue to work on being the best person I can for, your, for our relationship to clean my dishes and not leave them in the sink, <laughs> not be a shoe collector guy by the front door, and generally pick up after myself so you come home to a clean house after a year long day. <laughs> I promise to pull over for you whenever you see cool graffiti so that you can photograph it and do so without getting upset or annoyed. <laughs> Most of all, I promise to love you no matter what challenges may come our way. I will try to understand our, all of our needs, well, excuse me, all of your needs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not you and her, it's us now. So R is <laughs> Most of all, I promise to love you no matter what challenges may come our way. I will try to understand all your needs, respect your wishes, communicate my feelings and happiness and anger, share with you my joys and my fears, share in your joys and your fears, and stand by you all of your endeavors. I'll be there whenever you need me, always. And I promise to love and respect you with all my heart for all of our days. You have made my life and the things that I have you. This day is a new beginning for us. I will love you now. Accept me at my best, my worst, and everywhere in between. I do believe you are the most beautiful soul that has ever crossed my path. From this day forward, I promise you my heart to honor, respect, and love you with everything I have. I promise to encourage you in times of doubt and share with you in times of joy. I will never judge you, and I will always listen. I promise to never go to bed upset with you, and no matter how much I may dislike you at any given moment, <laughs> I will, I, will, <laughs> I will still love you more than anything in the world at that very same moment. I will be faithful to you all of my days, forever honest, and never take you for granted. I promise to fully support you in every decision you make, even if it's buying three new pairs of sneakers. <laughs> and I promise to always root for the Cowboys, as long as you're not playing the Vikings. <laughs> Although it may be impossible to put into words how much I truly love you, I will do everything I can to spend rest of my life trying to show you. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep. As you can see, it makes it more personal when it comes straight from their own hearts. Can we 
we have the rings, please. And you both bring beautiful rings for one another. It's a symbol of love and commitment that you make today. People often say that wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and no end. But these rings did have a beginning. The stones were formed long ago beneath the earth, and eventually, a series of lucky events caused them to rise to the surface where they were dug up. The metal was liquefied in a furnace of a thousand degrees, molded and cooled, and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful was made in these raw elements. Your love is just like that. It has come from humble beginnings, and through a combination of serendipity and effort, imperfections have taken shape into something extraordinary. It's a process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. And as you look at these rings over the years, I hope you remember you have created something invaluable. Just as I know you will protect these rings, I know you will protect your vows. And sir, as you place this ring on her finger, would you please repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Oh, that's a sign of my love. <laughs> sign of my love. And with all that I have. And with all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. And take you as my wife. individual hearts have been promised to one another and wherever you go may you always turn to the other in togetherness in the home which you both established with your caps charlie and Meg, the place <laughs> you know you'll always come home to find that special friend and as you look at these rings in future years please be reminded of this absolutely gorgeous lake tahoe day all your family and friends that have come here to witness and bless your friends and family that are standing up here with you celebrating as you make your commitment to one another You've declared your intention, your vows before God, and this gathering of your family and friends. May the grace of this day carry forward with all the days of your lives. May you find delight in each other. May your love continue to grow and nurture you throughout all your days. I wish you the strength to be true to the vows that you've made here today. And may you always have the wisdom to cherish the precious love that you both share. May you abide by the laws of the Spirit, nurturing yourselves in this marriage with acceptance, understanding, cooperation, and love. And may the life you share be peaceful, healthy, filled with blessings and joy. Inasmuch as you, Devin, and Morgan have consented today in marriage before God and your family and friends as witnesses, you pledge your faith and declare unity to one another through the exchange of your vows and these rings. In accordance with the laws of the state of Nevada and the powers that are vested in me by this state, I take extremely great pleasure today being able to pronounce you husband and wife. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in introducing to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Devin and Morgan Shear. Congratulations to you.